I knew this I knew was going to happen. Gonna happen. I, knew. I knew. It was only it was a matter, only of, matter time. of time. I told y'all this, told y'all this would happen. happen. I, told I told y'all. y'all. It, was it was inevitable. Now, now it's, too, it's late. too late. It's already, it's already over. over. We've already, We've already been, been, replaced. been replaced. With AI. Yo, we just talked about AI art like two weeks ago. Can we not let a month go by without AI taking over another part of the world? If y'all know what I'm talking about recently on Twitter and YouTube, AI voice generators have been blowing up. I've been seeing all over my timeline, all over my YouTube recommended of famous YouTubers and celebrities voices being AI generated to say some of the most hilarious stuff ever. I'm a 14 year old high school freshman. I started watching anime so much that I've lost my love for real girls. I'm so attracted to these animated girls and their good looks and personality. Yeah, you heard that right. That was Joe Rogan confessing his love for anime girls. <laughs> like, this is stupid. And it is actually scarily good. I know this one right here, it just sounds like he's kind of reading off a script, but there's other ones that make it sound so smooth like he's literally just asking interview questions what put me down this rabbit hole was this video of obi-wan kenobi having his AI voice generated and him talking about um him oh, you're just gonna have to watch it luke did i ever tell you about ahsoka tano she was your father's exotic teenage alien apprentice a fine piece of jailbait from a more civilized age she had the tightest body and the perkiest little breasts in the galaxy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, bro. Do you see what I mean? This actor, I don't know the dude's name, but this actor, he doesn't, he never said those lines, but they were able to take his voice and make him say that. Like, that's scary. I mean, not even the real G is safe. Having sex with a vagina is for absolute pussies. You know what a real man does? As a real gangster myself, I take it in the ass. That's what real G's do with their bros. And one of the first things that I thought about when seeing this new technology has also already come to fruition. They already have AI scams happening. Well, look, that Alpha Grind product is all over TikTok. If you go to Amazon and you type in libido booster for men, you're going to find it right at the top. Of course, right now, this ad looks like it was made in the Google Slides or something. And Joe Rogan's talking like if he's held at gunpoint, if he doesn't talk about how his libido needs to be boosted. But the technology's there. We have to remember that this is just the foundation. This is just the beginning of what is possible with this technology. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next year or two, these are getting really, really good. I was looking at the AIR and I was astonished on how good that was. I can't imagine how lifelike this is going to be. The accuracy with which some of these voices are talking at is so human-like. It's indistinguishable if you're just hearing it randomly. If y'all know this AI generating, you just have your headphones on and YouTube autoplay continues to the next video and you hear Joe Rogan talking like this. Actually, FUDA can be made less gay than straight porn. You see, straight porn has one guy and one girl because you're fapping to something with one guy in it that's 50% gay. You're gonna think you're listening to an actual interview. And let's not even get into the jobs it's gonna take away. We're not gonna need no voice actors. In like three, four, five years, we're just gonna have AI generated voices do it for us. And I also don't know if you guys know, but they're also starting to dabble in AI comedy. Yes, robot jokes. It's been going on for a while now where these bots watch thousands of hours of comedy specials and they go up and make their own. And those are like pretty trash. They're pretty like garbage. Firstly of all, I am sorry that I am not sorry. Actually, I am not sorry that I am not sorry. I have never not been not sorry. If that offends, I think you should leave. It literally just sounds like the inner monologue of an average Twitter user. It's just really hard to comprehend. But recently, a very popular AI-generated Seinfeld sitcom has been going on Twitch for a couple of weeks now before it actually got banned for saying a transgender joke. So RIP to that, but who knows if it'll be banned forever. But basically, it's just an AI-generated low-resolution comedy show following some AI bot characters walking around and telling jokes from time to time. And it just continues to run like this all stream, but sometimes it gets a little too real. Did you ever stop and think that this might all be one big cosmic joke? Well, I don't think it's necessarily all, you know? Yeah, I know. I just mean like, why are we here? To tell jokes, obviously. 
it's a little too self-aware for my liking. Even the stream itself, it kind of gives just like an eerie feeling when the laugh track's going and no one's saying anything. They're walking around, the color palette. But just imagine in 20 years when I'm watching the Super Bowl and everything's AI generated, AI generated Rihanna, AI generated Drake. No one on TV or in movies are real anymore because no one wants to pay actors, extras, cameramen, crews, because all that costs money and it would be cheaper to just make an AI generated version of it that it literally looks like the same thing. Well, that was some fun existential doom to think about for a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go um, sleep, probably. But that's gonna be it for today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go watch another video. I almost got a hundred videos posted. I promise you're gonna like something. But that's gonna be it for today, y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.